Hello and welcome to another Android video. In this video I'm going to introduce you to something called Android Studio, which is a development environment like Eclipse for example that I'm going to use from now on. You don't have to download it if you don't want to but I would recommend you to do it. You can still follow my videos if you use Eclipse. But as I said from now on I'm going to use Android Studio. And this video is just going to be about me talking on how you can install it and how we can use it, basically. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get started. Uh, first of all, if you want to download it, you should go to developer.android.com slash sdk, etc. I will leave a link in the description of the video. And then you, if you are on Windows, you basically just click this button, download Android Studio Beta. But if you have Mac or Linux, you have to go to view all downloads and sizes and then download it. Uh, let's see. And of course you need a JDK installed already but if you have used Eclipse before you should already have it installed and set up. So you might have to download SDKs for the different versions of Android and if you want to do that in Android Studio you can go ahead and go to Tools, Android and then select SDK Manager and it will display a list of different packages you can download and install. I would recommend you to get the latest one and maybe a different version like 4.3 or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, this will pop up and you can see different versions, for example Android L, 4.3 etc, which I have installed. So now I'm going to show you how Android Studio looks like. It's it works pretty much like Eclipse in some ways. For example, it is based on folders over here and etc. And your project is built up in the same way as in Eclipse. You have the source folder for your uh, for your Java files, and you have a resource folder for your images, your layouts, and your values. And you create your project in pretty much the same way. Type in the application name, the package. Click next, select which version, which which version you want to use it on. You can add even in download SDKs for Glass and TV and Wear, and try and develop for that platform. And here you can choose a pre-made activity. For example, if you want Google Maps activity, a full screen activity, or something like that, and then click on next and select layout name, etc. And then just click finish, and you will have your your basic activity. Uh, that is how you can create a project. Uh, let's see. As far as I know, you have to manually import every class that you want to use in Android Studio, for now at least. Keep in mind that it's still in beta, so hopefully we'll see more features in the future. But I found a way how you can work around that. You can basically set your project to automatically import all of your necessary classes that you need and in order to do that you can go to file uh, select settings go to auto import and and then check the boxes so yeah basically that's how it works and also some notes about the android manifest file as far as i know you have to import you have to uh, manually edit this file for example, in Eclipse, you could go to the permission tab and more easily add your permissions if you want, if you wanted to. But in this case, you have to, again, as far as I know, tap out everything manually. But Android Studio gives you gives you much of the code. For example, as you could see, I just typed out uh, uses, and I can just click enter, and it will give me a skeleton on basically a skeleton on what I need to type in. Then I have the menu over here of all the settings or permissions. Then I just do this. So it's really easy to get into, and Android Studio gives you a lot of free stuff. I'm going to show you another example over here. If you have watched my video when we create an uh, unclick listener for our button and go to another screen, then once again, Android Studio can give you much free, free code. For example, if I just type out new unclick listener. Oh, sorry. Capital O, and then I click Enter. Boom. I have the onclick method over here, so I can just go ahead and 
about what I want the button to do when I press it. And I just need a parenthesis and yeah. So that is why I really like Android Studio because it does a lot of the work for you. Of course if you are new to Android you should type out everything manually because you will remember it more easily. For people who are used to Android I think it's really really good that they have done this. Because the works get done uh, much faster in my opinion. Oh yeah, one more thing about the layouts. In uh, Eclipse you can just see, as far as I know, you can only see one device at a time in your layout. Basically, let's go to it. Over here. Basically you would have a screen over here with a device in Ex Eclipse and you would see how the layout would look like on your device. Uh, Android Studio supports to display multiple devices at the same time, but at the moment it doesn't work for some unknown reason, I don't know. But it should have multiple devices over here and I would see how it would look like on different screen sizes and for example on a tablet like this. I believe this was everything for this video. Keep an eye out for the next videos because I'm probably going to start uploading more frequently now. I've been very busy lately with school and work. But hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and bye bye.